New at 9, a newly married husband and wife from North Carolina have filed a class action lawsuit against Marriott International and Kyoya Hotels and Resorts. They say they were not told hotel workers were on strike and it ruined their honeymoon. Dr. Inamula and his wife Sana booked a five night stay at the Royal Hawaiian. But unlike the paradise experience they expected, they were really ripped off. They planned uh, what was supposed to be a lovely honeymoon, celebrating their union uh, in one of the supposedly nicest, you know, most luxurious hotels uh, on the island, and they just didn't get that. They didn't get what they paid for. Attorney Bridget Morgan said the couple had limited to no housekeeping services, valet parking, room service. Pool attendants and most of the restaurants and bars were not open. He described having to walk several blocks just to park his car uh, every time they'd leave because there was no valet service. So they were just very disappointed. Morgan says the Royal Hawaiian did not tell the couple about the strike until they arrived, even though the hotel knew about the strike beforehand. They received a pamphlet that described how limited a lot of the services would be, um, but it did say that they would receive headphones <laughs> to block out the noise. The newly married couple said they spent nearly $2,400 for their five-night stay. They want their money back. Part of the thing that was so upsetting was that they didn't have a choice. Had the hotel called them or let them know, you know, hey, we know you've booked with us, but we're striking, services are going to be limited, they would have stayed somewhere else. They were deceived and they were, they were very, they didn't feel that they got what they bargained for. Um, and they just, they felt ripped off. I reached out to the Royal Hawaiian, but have not yet heard back. I also reached out to the Local 5 Union. I'm told negotiations are still ongoing. It has been 33 days since the strike started.